Hi, my name is Eric Hummel. I'm the Chief Architect of HIPAA High Tech Express. HIPAA High Tech Express is a simple step-by-step -step approach to reach compliance with HIPAA security requirements and to protect the sensitive information of your patients and business associates. To get you started quickly, we use simple questionnaires that allow us to build a work plan for you to follow. This presentation helps you get that questionnaire completed and the priority of activities established so that you can quickly show progress. When you're given an account on HIPAA High Tech Express, you're sent an email with a web link to set your login credentials. You can either click on it or cut and paste it into your browser. That page will ask you to pick a password for your new account. Once it's been created, use your email address and the password to log in. If you forget your password, a link on the page allows you to reset your password automatically. There are currently three roles in HIPAA High Tech Express. Initially, a manager is assigned who has the rights to complete the questionnaire, the gap analysis, and the work plan. The manager can also create new accounts to help with the work. User and organizational admin accounts will be addressed in the work plan video. When you first log in as manager, you'll be presented with the questionnaire. It is a set of questions which determine the elements needed in the work plan. All are yes-no with yes indicating some security protection is in place, no indicating that some policies, procedures, implementation, and or monitoring is necessary. No is what we call a gap and will result in the need to put some of these missing pieces in place. Even if the answer is yes, there will be documentation tasks. The initial questionnaire asks about the most common things that are necessary but missing from similar organizations. The most important and urgent need is to have a complete set of policies and an inventory of the information that needs to be protected. Other questions address plans and documents that need to be in place. A few questions refer to technology. For these, you may need the assistance from your IT services organization or service provider. To complete the questionnaire, you may need to leverage information from across your organization. Ultimately, you will be engaging them in the work plan, so now would be a good time to touch base and let them know that this is coming. Each question is accompanied by a small bit of guidance. Click on the blue triangle to show or hide it. There are four elements in this guidance. The first is, under what circumstances you should answer yes. In most cases, you would only answer yes if the applicable policies are present, procedures are in place, the protection is implemented, and the monitoring is in place. But in some cases, the questions are specific to policies and in some other aspects of protection. In the second, we explain why we're asking the question. This helps you understand what we're driving at if it's not already clear. This will also help you become familiar with IT security as a whole. Third, we explain what kinds of activities are needed if the answer is no. It's a small preview of the work plan. And in the fourth, we tell you the specific language of the regulation. Prior to submission, the questionnaire can be saved in an incomplete state. Once all questions have been answered, you can submit the questionnaire using the button at the bottom of the page. Answers may be changed, but note that to change an answer means to give up all the work on actions that have resulted from it. Questions are directly tied to these actions so you would know exactly what would be reset, but care needs to be taken. You must be a manager in order to change the answer to a question. The gap analysis is the next phase of HIPAA High Tech Express. It involves prioritizing the gaps that have been identified in the questionnaire. Each question that has been answered no is displayed as a gap. They need to be rated for risk, cost, and mitigation. Each is given a rating of high, medium, or low. Risk is a combination of the likelihood that threats will take advantage of this gap and that financial or other loss to your organizations will result. Cost is how much you will have to invest to remediate this risk. In HIPAA High Tech Express, this means the level of effort and cost of the technology that is called for in the work plan. The mitigations are the measures needed to control the risk. For example, if password protection policy is present and users are mostly following it, but there's no standard procedures in place, then the mitigation might be low or medium. If the implementation is poor, 
the mitigation should probably be high. Although we have chosen nominal values for these three elements, each gap must be evaluated and submitted before the work plan can be created. To help you get started quickly, we do not require that all the gaps must be prioritized before starting, but we encourage the quick completion of the gap analysis to ensure that the highest priority gaps are clearly identified. Once a gap has been reviewed and submitted, the work plan is created and the work on it can commence.